guys, we're Evan and Caitlin. And we can't keep a plant alive. So we're making a DIY self-watering concrete planter. Let's see how this goes. This planter will have two parts, a water reservoir on the bottom and a pot on top. There's a wick that connects the two and allows the plant to sip water out. Our design had some funky curves and angles, so we 3D printed a form and made a silicone mold for it. You can take the same principle, design a planter with square corners, and make the form out of wood. 3D prints aren't great for mold making, so we smooth it out with automotive fill primer and lots of sanding. Next, we put together all the pieces to make our form. Oh sh it's already done. Oh, oh Jesus, oh God, on my hand. Oh no. Note to self, super glue dries really, really fast. Janky rubber band collection. It's all from vegetables. Big old bitty. That one's from some asparagus. We secured it all with tape, didn't use enough, but we'll get to that, and grabbed two parts silicone to make our mold. We put equal parts in separate containers. <laughs> Looks so tasty! <laughs> then mix them in a bigger container till pink and blue became purple. We had to add more tape! Everything's gone as planned! It's definitely not leaking! No! This thing was a huge pain to get out. So we took the heat gun to it to soften the plastic. This mold is about to tear. Evan doesn't know it yet in the clip, but while we watch him struggle, we wanted to say thank you to our Patreon sponsors. You guys are awesome and get us through even the frustrating moments like this. We mixed a small batch of silicone to patch the hole, and now we get to do it all again for the bottom piece. This time we tried combining part A and B in one container. Don't do that. Oh, it's, uh, it's not mixed. What do I do? <laughs> ah! I'll just keep going. Ah! <laughs> it's really not mixed. <laughs> it's like blue. When people ask us if we have any professional training. We say no. <laughs> we say no. At this point, we were committed. So we tapped its sides to get rid of air bubbles, let it dry overnight, and then remove the mold. Don't try this at home. Seriously, you probably shouldn't do this at home. <laughs> It was time for concrete. We like Quitcrete Vinyl Concrete Patcher because its fine grain makes it easy to get into detailed molds. So hopefully we're going to pour cement into here, end up with one of these, but in cement. A little water goes a long way. Mix it till it's like sandy pancake batter. Like the silicone, we whack this on the sides to get rid of any bubbles. Or you can do it this way if you're a crazy person. Fingers crossed. I know. Yay! Oh my gosh! Oh, oh that's awesome! After celebrating our success so far, we grabbed some sandpaper to smooth everything out. Once the surfaces look good, it's time to make this concrete planter self-watering. We went with a poly rope that won't degrade over time and chose a masonry bit that was a tiny bit bigger than the rope. Then we waterproofed it with concrete sealer. We burnt the rope end so it wouldn't fray. Last, we put some dirt under the rope for more surface contact. Then we potted our plant. That's so pretty! It's really pretty! Well, we messed up a lot on that project, but it was overall fun. We learned a lot from it and hope that you guys can learn a little bit from the mistakes that you saw us make. <laughs> We haven't had this long enough to know how well it works yet, but we'll let you know on Instagram. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Woo.
I doesn't have a beautiful wife. It's my secret. Maybe she was born with it. Maybe it's silicone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. That was funnier than I originally intended.